Hello there and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. As you can clearly tell, we are not actually looking at laptops today. So, a little bit of background that leads into this video. I had an associate that needed uh, some new computers in their office space and they had these two units drudged up or donated or whatever, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, brought them to me and said, hey, I'm running a i5-4050 like in the office. Uh, are these things any good in comparison? Uh, is there one over the other that I should be using as a replacement for something that might be dying soon? And he asked me a bunch of other questions. And then he said, oh, by the way, whatever machine we go with, it has to run uh, Windows 10. And I said, okay, no problem. And he's like, oh yeah, by the way, let me know how much the license costs for off or for Windows 10 and uh, include it in the price. And I'm like, well, hold on a second. Because um, when he dropped the units off, they both clearly had manufacturer stickers uh, on the backs of these. So that's uh, this little label right here. And I've just taped it for privacy. It says Windows 7 Pro OA. Now, what these stickers are, and they're increasingly rare on new units, is a license key. But this license key, many people still do not know in 2018, is the best and cheapest way, because it's free, uh, to update to Windows 10. So what you do is you go on to the Windows website, do media creation tool, get yourself a USB, and flash the image uh, for Windows 10 on here. Now what'll happen is when you go to install Windows 10 on these machines, it will update to the version that is equivalent to the Windows 7 key that you put in it. So if you have Windows 7 Home um, and you type in a Windows 7 Home key into the install, it will give you Windows 10 Home. And same thing, if it's a Windows 7 Pro, it'll give you Windows 10 Pro. So this opens up a whole caveat of, you know, reusing old hardware. These two units here, are an i5-3470 and an i5-2500, respectively. Uh, other than that, they are almost identical units. The one thing that I noticed that my associate did not is on the back, one of these has a bank of USB uh, three ports. The other one does not. So, just a little heads up, if you're looking at the used market of stuff, you generally don't want to go too much older than uh, a 3 a three series model in terms of anything Intel. Uh, 4, in my opinion, is the lowest I would personally go just in terms of you know performance. Anyway, that's a whole other video. So I just wanted to let you know that if you didn't know already and you're looking to get Windows 10 in 2018, that this is one of the most economical ways to do it is actually using Windows 7 keys uh, from older hardware. Now, of course, I'm not condoning any sort of illegal activity here. I'm just letting you know that that's where you can get these keys from and they work uh, flawlessly. So this video will be going into the software section of the channel, which is going to be a place that I'm going to continue to grow as time goes on. And I would encourage you to check back for future content, not only on laptops or anything else, but you never know uh, what might come across my desk and what I think uh, is important to share with you. So if that's uh, the kind of content that you want to be in the loop on when these updates occur, please make sure that you are subscribing. Uh, hit that little button down below. And also, if you really want to stay in the loop, make sure that you're hitting that notification uh, as well. So when brand new videos are released, uh, you're the first to see them and to know. Because who knows, maybe a tip like this could be helpful to you or, more importantly, someone you know. I'll see you next time.